Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Sider, and we're here with Planet Zoo News. Very unexpected, but we have Planet Zoo News update one. Point six is coming to Planet Zoo on the 22nd of, U of June. That is next week. What is going on? Like for real. Hi, you zookeepers. Curious to hear what's coming up for Planet Zoo? Then you're in the right place. We're very happy to share that free update 1.6 will be available to download and enjoy from the 22nd of June. Oh, I'm amazed by this. As always, we're reading everything you share with us and working hard to include some of your most requested changes. In case you missed it, we shared about changes coming to the polar bear a couple of weeks ago that will be in this update. Hype! <laughs> Free update 1.6 will also bring custom audio speakers, habitat cameras, seriously? Some deep swimming additions, vista points, Expanded sandbox settings and search options. Read on to find more about all of these below. Oh my freaking god, look at this bear! <laughs> okay, wait. Bear updates. We've got a few changes to the bears for update 1.6. We know that the polar bear has been a long discussed topic for the Planet Zoo community, and we've done more research into holdings of polar bears to find a way to make them more viable picks for your zoo. You can read more about those changes in details here. Oh, okay. Alongside this, we're also adding deep swimming for multiple bears, including the following. Uh, the polar bear, the grizzly bear for Mosin black bear, and the sun bear. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Be sure to research how you can uh, create even better habitats for these wonderful creatures and get them swimming in June! <laughs> okay, wait. So what is this? Oh, this is an update of uh, the 3rd of June? Okay, I will link this one in the description down below. I think, yeah, for what I've heard is that they're going to reduce the land requirement space or anything like that. I will link that one in the description down below, but I, I'm just too hyped. I want to read this. <laughs> uh, custom audio speakers. Custom audio speakers for your speakers will arrive in free update 1.6. You will be able to pick various speakers throughout your zoo and adjust what they play. Create the perfect audioscape for your zoo. We've provided a preset list of frontier tracks, love it, uh, but you'll also be able to add and select custom tracks and even mark some, of, some as favorites to reach them quickly if you know you'll be using them often. When you get your hands on this feature, be sure to experiment with the different types of speaker available to you as there are different types of audio feel. That will change how your choice of audio is output accordingly. Are you adding an ambient track for atmosphere or living up guest-centric space? See which works for you. The audio formats will be at uh, well, this list. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. But the Vista Points, if you have not played Planet Coaster and you have no idea what this is, uh, Vista Points, the Planet Coaster veterans among you will know this one, will be bringing Vista Points to Planet 2. With a Vista Point, you can help guide your guests to recommended locations and directions to view your wonderful habitat and focal point in your zoo. While they will de uh, default the location you point them in, you can also use this to direct your guests to a specific focus as well, such as a piece of scenery you've created. Uh, doing so will leave your guests feeling very appreciative of your efforts and reward them with a small happiness bonus with interacting with them. You can also set Vista Points to be looking at habitat which will function differently than when set to scenery. While with scenery, they will look directly at the piece you've selected instead. It will provide a boost to the attractiveness of nearby viewing points and will tell you if uh, in its pine vote panel if it isn't currently near any of the selected habitat. A Vista point will help guide and direct your guests. However, it will find an easier reach viewing point that is just as good before they get to the one you want them to use. They're likely to stay where they are once you've got a good view already. Who can blame them? With this great new tool at your disposal, your guests are sure to see the very best that your zoo has to offer. So these are the Vista points and you can basically point uh, put them everywhere and you can use them just like billboards if you have been using those like uh, uh, setting a focal point and then your guests will be using this and look at that certain area so if you're making like this beautiful scenery area where all the guests just pass by now you have like this focal point which makes it look like the guests are actually really 
enjoying what you have built around you. So that is a really cool thing. A time scenario. Get ready to travel to Central America for our newest free time scenario. This scenario has something a little different planned for you. Take charge of an animal sanctuary where you will receive new animals on a regular schedule in need of your care and attention. Some have even arrived for you, giving you a focus right away. This scene... <laughs> This scenario is all about the animals you save and their welfare, as you'll see reflected in the requirements to complete it. For those who do, there is a chimpanzee statue waiting for you to claim as your prize. Habitat cameras and camera effect. Oh my god, this is so cool. A new feature we're adding will help you feel a bit closer to your animals in enclosures, thanks to the new camera asset. To find this, go to facilities, media devices, and education visual media. These cameras can be placed and use however you like. Although one of the best places for them is within a habitat, once there you'll be able to view the habitat using the camera itself, just like a webcam in a zoo. Oh, <laughs> just like a webcam in a zoo in real life. Much like in real life as well. Uh, Planconians love to see their favorite from home as well as the, as the, at the zoo. So you'll be able to gain a small marketing bonus for up to six habitat cameras in your zoo, but they will need to be in range of your habitats for the supply. Oh, that is such a cool feature. I love that. That is really, really nice. Uh, we're also adding camera effects ranging from vignettes to various levels of warmth, cold and night vision too. You'll find a bespoke button of the UI for accessing this and it will also provide access to camera light too, which is especially great for getting those night vision shots looking just right. Uh, for the avid photographers, um, these filters will also be maintained when using NVIDIA Ansel. Thank you! We can't wait <laughs> to see what uh, how your screenshots will look with these new tools. Oh my god, that is so cool. Animal trading changes. In free update 1.6, we'll be making a few changes to animal trading. This will include an increase in the storage limit from 50 to 200 as well as updates in the UI that will give you more information about each animal trait status. We're also including search options. Uh, you will be able to search through your animal storage and use filters uh, for which parameters you want to use. I uh, want to see, are you looking for a specific genetic makeup that you know you've got somewhere? You can search for it. These search parameters will be saved per zoo, but can also be easily reset with a click of a button. Search will be available in the following places. Animal management, animal market, animal storage, animal exhibit market, animal uh, exhibit storage. Uh, staff management and change. I do really like this, by the way. This is really, really nice, very useful. And also, uh, bigger is always better, <laughs> at least when it comes down to the storage limit. But yeah, that's a really, really nice change. And especially also that you can see what the trade status is instead of like clicking them. That is what I expect at least. Uh, staff management changes. In a previous update, we rolled out the staff management changes a little bit too fast and so reverted this so we could work on them a little bit longer, but we're happy to release them soon in update 1.6. These changes will create categories for each type of staff that you can toggle to be collapsed or not. And this will be remembered in each save. Thank you. As well as the ability to use multi-select on your staff to adjust wages, sat work zones and much more. These changes will also help those of you with bigger zoos and have a much easier time time managing all of your diligent staff. Continue your zooming campaign scenarios. This is insane how big this is, by the way. Um, continue your zoo in campaign scenarios. Many zookeepers have shared how they would love to continue the zoos they create in career scenarios. So we've added a small change. So once a player achieves gold in a career scenario, a new fanfare will pop up to inform you that the animal ex exchange will start to populate with all available animals. This means you can continue to play in your career scenario park that you've built up and love without the set limitations on which species will appear. Oh, that's a really cool thing for people that I love to play this. Expanded sandbox settings. Last but not least, we're introducing a whole new host of sandbox options. These options will give you even more control over your sandbox zoos as well let as that you organize which zoo has which options enabled. Uh, sandbox will now be receiving new preset selections for you to either emulate another mode or save your favorite custom settings. These will be available in default preset, creative preset, challenge preset, and save custom presets. 
the settings you use for each sandbox zoo will be saved to that specific zoo, meaning you can have a different setup for every zoo. That's really nice if you would like to. Uh, if you found your dream sandbox settings, however, you can use the save custom preset options to save those and apply them to any other zoo you build as well, so that you can prepare your sandbox zoos for these new options. Check out the list of the, of the things we added below. Social welfare, enable uh, social groups, overcrowding, enable stress, uh, animal fights, predation and fear, uh, water cleanliness, animal <laughs> animal temperature needs, terrain needs, plant needs. Oh, really, really cool. Uh, enable escapes, guess fleeing, negative impact. Uh, we hope you're looking forward to these new changes. This update will come with other tweaks and bug fixtures, which we will have a foolish of patch notes to share when we will release it. We will have more to share with you very soon. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. All right, guys, what did we learn? What did we learn? Whenever we get a free update, we get a DLC. I dare to say that after years of working with Frontier, I dare to say whenever there is a free update, there is a DLC. Well, we're not in Planet Coaster Alpha days, okay? So that doesn't count. <laughs> so, um, yes, guys, I think, I think there is a DLC announcement very, very soon. And I'm still amazed by the fact that this is going to launch on the 22nd of June. That is next freaking week <laughs> on the Tuesday. This is really insane. I'm super excited. Um, there are some leaks already uh, about what kind of DLC it will be. Could be a, an African DLC, 99% sure, but let's see and wait and put, keep our fingers crossed to see if that is definitely going to be the case. Uh, where we're gonna hear something very soon. Very, 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 very soon, it says. <laughs> so I am, uh, I, I will keep you guys posted as soon as I hear anything. You guys will know what is going on, of course. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this awesome free update that is coming to us. I'm just super excited about this bear and the polar bears diving. I'm just super, super excited for that. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think that the new DLC will, will be and if, if it's going to be an African DLC, what animals would you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered on the channel. I'm sorry I have been super hyped and, and bad reading and all this stuff but I'm just super excited. Let me know guys in the comments down below and I really just hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!